How to Become the Boss, Part 6. You have to have a plan for success if you want to become the boss. You can do anything that your heart desires, but you need to start from a point of knowledge and understanding. Whatever it is that you want to do, you need to research it fully. A plan for success that details the goal in specific terms of time and method to achieve the goal is the first step along your path. Bosses are people who are in charge. They take care of business. They manage the operating expenses, the product development, the product distribution, the marketing, and the employees. People who are contract workers are bosses that offer their services to people and negotiate the fees and terms. Those who create and own intellectual property charge for the usage, license it for distribution and or broadcast. It does not matter whether you desire to work in a management position, start a business, buy treasuries, shares or bonds. You can work as a construction, consultant, accountant, dentist, doctor, actor, musician, comedian, artist, writer, author, TV anchor, announcer, photographer, athlete or model contractor. You need to start with a plan for success as to how you will get there. To become a boss, you will need to have a positive life philosophy. Your outlook must stay in the realm of positive expectation for the future and the resolution of a current problem being solved with minimal damage. To do otherwise, is not consistent with the purpose of this book. Your inner thoughts are as important to your condition in life, as the air you breathe. Your thoughts make your future. A person on the path to fulfilling a self-perpetuating prophecy, has to be free to think about different ways that may be unconventional to achieve their dreams. You may need to think differently, with an open-minded approach to find the best strategy or strategies to implement. Most people have grown up with a limited knowledge of the various ways that money can be made. Because of this deficiency of money-making knowledge, the average person fails to recognize all the opportunities that are orbiting them. The boss shines like the sun and his or her powerful gravitational pull draws the opportunities near like satellites and comets. Wealth attraction is elementary to the boss. In Wealth Building Strategies of the Super Rich, How to Start a Family Dynasty, I explained the benefits to understanding and using the nine greatest strategies for building wealth. These nine strategies are what the most successful people use singularly or in combination to obtain a higher level of net worth and control over their lives. Perseverance, fortitude, and the ability to overcome adversities that occur periodically, are absolutely necessary to become the boss. Not one person has ever become the boss without possession of each trait in ample supply. I gave you the example of Oprah Winfrey, who overcame a very poor and sexually abusive background to become a hit talk show host, actor, television producer, author, magazine publisher and now a television network owner in OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network. I told you about the struggles of starting a successful business in 1975 during a great financial crisis. That example applied to Microsoft, who started in September of that year. Another example was the Allstate Insurance Company, which started during the Great Depression. They used the technique of only being available in the Sears catalog to save money, since they had no agents to pay a commission to in the beginning. I gave you the example of the Warner Brothers, who started one of the most successful motion picture companies in history, that has morphed into time Warner AOL. I discussed John D. Rockefeller of Standard Oil. And I also told you the story of the father of the Rothschild dynasty, Mayor Amschel Rothschild. Great walls have stood strong in opposition to men and women of the Jewish tribe, African Americans, Latin Americans, Native Americans and many more. To become the boss by ability, you will need to do one of the following. 1. Start or buy a company, shares or bonds. 2. Contract your services. 3. Create and own intellectual property. Starting a company is easy. Running a successful company is hard. The secret to not having your creation become a negative statistic, is to prepare for failure. If you want to succeed in business, then you have to accept business failure. Failure is your greatest ally. It teaches you how to succeed. Prepare for the self-payment of your company's operating expenses without making any money for the first 6 to 12 months. If you have the money to prepay those expenses, then you will be even more likely to stay in business. Employees want to be paid two weeks after they perform their work tasks. If you can't pay them, then you are greatly jeopardizing the existence of your little baby entity. Don't let pride cloud your judgment. Pay your expenses first. The idea that you must pay yourself first when just starting a business, is the stupidest thing you can do. Prepare to live off of some other source of income or seed money for 6 to 12 months. If you have money to live without taking from your business for up to 12 months, 
then it will have the operating expenses for up to 12 months. Pay yourself after your business expenses have been paid, not one second before. The idea of starting a company is that you want the company to continue to exist for as long as possible. It is not a race to a finish line, there isn't supposed to be an end. So you must keep it alive just like a living entity. Feed it well when it is young and then watch it grow big and strong. If you starve something during childhood, then it will probably not live to grow up. Or it will probably grow up to have many health problems that cannot be easily fixed, if at all. Use money that you have saved, money from friends and family or investors. A bank loan should be the last thing that you seek to start your company. A bank will be more likely to grant you some money if you have a savings, certified deposit, a checking account or money market checking account with them. They will let you use the amount of money you have in your account as collateral against loan default. What you have in your account, is what you will get in a loan. If you don't have enough collateral, then they want a government loan guarantee. In any case, if you lose the ability to repay your loan, then you lose everything that you put up as collateral. If that includes a house, then say goodbye to your house. If that includes a car, then say goodbye to your car. Bye-bye business is mandatory and you should understand by now that the risk of an early loan is very high and the potential lost is everything. Avoid this pitfall by following what I advise. Use your own money first or get investors and seek loans dead last. Continue to the next selection. How to become the boss, part 7.